This video will show you how to remove and install the most commonly used cylinders from the Hoppe HLS 9000 multipoint lock. While there are several possible cylinder configurations, like this full cylinder, this keyed keyed cylinder, this half keyed cylinder, and this thumb turn insert, they are all removed in fundamentally the same way. All of these cylinders have a cam, sometimes referred to as a drive tab, which operate the lock. This cam can also hold the cylinder in the lock if it is not in the correct position when trying to remove the cylinder. We'll get into properly positioning this cam in a moment. These are the tools you will require. A Phillips head screwdriver, and if you have a 90 degree cylinder, you will also need either the ring wrench tool originally supplied, or a paper clip and a pair of pliers to bend it like this. Please note, while this is referred to as a 90 degree cylinder, it travels slightly farther than 90 degrees. To determine if you have a 360 degree cylinder or a 90 degree cylinder, first depress the mishandling device and keep it depressed. Lift the handle to extend the multipoint locking points, and then if you have a thumb turn, rotate it and extend the deadbolt. If the thumb turn rotated approximately 90 degrees, you have a 90 degree cylinder. If it rotated more than one complete turn, you have a 360 degree cylinder. Now to remove a profile cylinder, begin the process for any of these cylinders by retracting the deadbolt with either the thumb turn or key, and then retract the multipoint locking points with the handle. Next, use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the primary mounting screw from the face plate of the lock, but do not yet try to remove the cylinder. If you have a 360 degree cylinder with a thumb turn, make sure the key is removed, and then using the thumb turn, rotate the cam so that it clears the lock capes and pull the cylinder out toward the thumb turn. If you have a 360 degree half keyed cylinder, use the key to rotate the cam till it clears the lock case and pull the cylinder out of the lock case with the key. If you have a 90 degree cylinder with a thumb turn, or a 90 degree thumb turn insert, you'll have to use a tool to retract the retaining pin that stops the cylinder from rotating beyond this 90 degree position. To remove this cylinder from the door, retract the retaining pin with the supplied ring wrench or the modified paper clip. Usually this is easier if you insert the tool from the side. And after it's been retracted, Rotate the top of the thumb turn away from the latch edge of the door while gently pulling on the thumb turn till the cam and cylinder or thumb turn insert slide free of the door. To install a cylinder, reverse the procedures shown earlier. If you have a 360 degree cylinder with a thumb turn, using the thumb turn, rotate the cam to the six o'clock position and slide the cylinder into the lock case, pushing it through the door, aligning the face plate screw hole with the cylinder mounting hole just under the cam. Then, insert the primary mounting screw. Snug the mounting screw, but do not over tighten it. While depressing the mishandling device, then lift the handle to engage the multipoints and confirm the proper functioning of the unit by extending and retracting the deadbolt with either the thumb turn or the key. If you have a 360 degree half keyed cylinder or a keyed keyed cylinder, use the key to rotate the cam to the six o'clock position so that it will clear the lock case and trim. Push the cylinder into the lock with the key until the primary mounting screw inserted into the cylinder screw hole in the lock faceplate aligns with the mounting screw hole in the cylinder. Snug the mounting screw, but do not over tighten it. While depressing the mishandling device, lift the handle to engage the multipoints, and then confirm the proper functioning of the unit by extending and retracting the deadbolt with the key. If you have a 90 degree cylinder with a thumb turn, or a 90 degree thumb turn insert, you'll have to make sure that the cam is aligned with the cylinder body to easily enter the cylinder prep. If it is not, use the tool shown before to retract the retaining pin just like you did when removing the cylinder. 
Rotate the thumb turn to properly align the cam to the 6 o'clock position for clearance and insert the cylinder with the thumb piece till the cylinder mounting screw hole and face plate screw hole align. Snug the primary mounting screw but do not over tighten it. While depressing and mishandling device, lift the handle to engage the multipoints and then confirm the proper functioning by extending and retracting the deadbolt with either the thumb turn or the key. Congratulations, you've successfully removed and reinstalled your cylinder. For further support and information, explore our website at www.us.hope.com.